So here we have the chart of US oil, right? Something new, a new num a new market that I'm going to be looking at and hopefully I can implement it more into the channel. But this is going to be more sort of ICT concepts and more so how to build a narrative in price that you can take to almost every strategy or any strategy you want, right? So when it comes to building a narrative, right, what we need to understand is that there's three things that are involved when it comes to building this narrative, right? When traders build a narrative, specifically a higher type of narrative, there's three things you want to consider, right? Or there's different things you want to consider, right? The three main things are as follows, right? You want to understand your structure. And alongside structure comes the dealing ranges, right? And we're going to, dis we're going to discuss what dealing ranges are, right? Dealing ranges. Then there's two concepts which people should be aware of because you all have been subscribed to my channel is you want to look at PD arrays and you want to look at fair value gaps right these are the three tools we're going to be using three fundamental tools as to how i and how you should be approaching charts to really dissect and define the high time from narrative right here we're going to be doing it on us oil right we're just going to, i'm going to be experimenting between different markets every week to see what people like what we'll see what people don't like comment on what you want to see as well you know we had someone last week who said can you put nifty bank index the indian index up you know i did that if there's any other markets people want to see, feel free to drop them in the comments. Drop me a message on Instagram, Twitter, Discord. I'm everywhere. And um, yeah, we can take it from there. So here we have US oil. Now, it's one thing to note. We had a very low peak over here, very low. This is the lowest low. And this was no accident. This was in 2020 in April. So this was essentially COVID-19. Right? We can easily put this down to COVID-19. It was in 2020, April, when the market tanked. And this is what we see over here in price now. However, we can't ignore this because this is our low on the weekly time frame. So we're very much on the higher time frame. But essentially, what you want to understand is as a trader, where are your structural highs and lows? So we see market break structure here to the upside after the very large push to the downside or market tank during COVID. So what you need to understand is the first thing we looked at is our structure. So if I just get the rules out, put the bits aside, the first thing we looked at is our structure, but more so our dealing range. What is our dealing range here on the weekly time frame? Right. Here's how we decipher that. We want to project the market Fibonacci tool from the swing low down here all the way up to the swing high, right? All the way up to the swing high. Ooh, the settings here are not quite correct. Uh, let me try that again. So we want to take the Fibonacci tool from the swing low all the way up to the swing high. I'm not sure what's up with the settings over here, but the f one thing we want to understand is simply where we are in price so what we have over here is we have an equilibrium over here in price this is our equilibrium zone over here so what this equilibrium zone represents to us is that it represents the fact that we have two zones we want to be looking at in the market anything below this line is you guessed it now we're going on to the next the next concept right anything below this line is a discount and anything above this price is a premium right now, because we're on the very higher time frames, what we can't do is expect price to come all the way down to a discount because that could take years, right? And that's not necessarily what, that's not the point of this exercise. The point of this exercise is to understand where we are in price, okay? So now let's go into a little bit more detail and see what our most recent structure has been doing, our most recent structure. Now, we have a very clean structure to work off, and here's why. We see price deliver a high, a low a high, a low, and now we've seen price head up grading a high. So already what this tells us is that we have an intermediate swing low down here. So we have a swing low down here and we have a swing high all the way up here. So the swing low and the swing high represent essentially our dealing range high and low, right? So we use our Fib tool to, to project the, the discount and the premium, right? We understand that we have the discount and the premium, right? The next thing we want to look at very specifically is our fair value gaps in price. Where are the fair value gaps in price, right? We had a fair value gap just over here. This candle here was a fair value gap. Actually, no, this candle down here was the fair value gap just over here. The last, down, the last candle prior to the imbalance over here, right? So if I take that across, <laughs> What we see over here is we see two things we want to consider. Our last low remains intact. Our last low is intact, right? So this is an intact low. The next thing we want to see is look at how price has respected this order block, right? We haven't broken below it. We simply wicked below it, which means a fill of imbalance, right? 
feel of a fair value gap or feel of an imbalance now what does that represent what do these two things here represent this represents a willingness for price to go higher and that's what we've seen right that's what we've seen okay so we see a willingness for price to go higher so if we just dissect that one more time when we're building our narrative on the higher time frames what we want to look at is we want to look at our dealing range so our dealing range essentially gives us the range is high and the range is low so once the high and the low is established like i did previously we want to project our fibonacci tool from the swing low all the way up to the swing high now what this represents Fibonacci tool from the swing low to the swing high represents our premium and discount a raise in price. Very, very important. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to project our fair value gap region over here. So a fair value gap or an inefficiency in price is left on all time frames. It's up to you to train your eye from an ICT market IQ perspective, and that can only be built with experience. So once you understand these things, this is essentially how you build a higher time frame narrative in the market, right? I happen to do it on US oil. It could work across Forex, commodity stocks, futures, options, just about everything you can name. This is the bread and butter to do it. So with that being said, we understand we have a daily POI over here, a daily fair value gap between respected. So if we take it down just one more time frame, so this is sorry, this is a week. So now if we go down to the daily time frame, the daily time frame, we're going to look at our most recent structure, right? So we see prices reacted pretty bullishly off this fair value gap, right? We've not broken below it with a body, which still keeps this intact. Right. Now, if I get rid of that for a second, let's dissect the most recent structure, right? So how are you going to dissect structure on this chart? That's the, mo that's the most important thing to understand. Not anyone else. How are you going to dissect the structure? Here's how I would do it. Swing low, swing high, swing low, high low high we've had a low that swept so i would count this as a high weak high kind of but it's still a high now we've had our break of structure okay so our most current dealing range our most current dealing range operates in this region so we've had the last low over here that's been broken and we've had a break of structure right we've had the bos we've had a break of structure so we've identified our dealing range and our dealing range dealing range consists of this wick or this low all the way up to this high right so now what do we establish what have we established right what what have we established next we have a discount over here in price this is our discount and this is our premium this is our premium so we've, got, we've established a dealing range and a break of structure we've identified our premium and discount raise with respect to this dealing range now the last thing to understand is that we had a bullish fair value gap just over here right so if i zoom into the price action you see a bullish fair value gap just over here that's been respected so this fair value gap over here if i label this fbg or fair value gap we see it being respected in the market right <laughs> Price most likely tapped into some lower time frame inefficiencies over here, but nevertheless, nonetheless, sorry, we see price reacting away from the discount towards the premium. Okay, so we're trading from discount to premium. Okay, so when it comes to building a narrative, you need to understand why is price likely to go up? What is the reason for price to go up? <laughs> now, the reason why price will go up is for two reasons, and I've discussed this on many other videos, right? <laughs> price will go up to seek liquidity and to fill fair value gaps these are the two reasons why price will go up so looking at this chart carefully what you need to understand is that we've had a discounted low right so this is our discounted low now you want to ask yourself is there liquidity above to target is are there fair value gaps to target now the answer to both those questions is very simply yes so at the time of recording so the 28th of february what we see over here is we see triple highs are being produced over here triple highs right and triple highs especially on the four hour is a very very large pool of liquidity and it's something that cannot be ignored simply can't be ignored right triple high tap one tap two tap three so we see a liquidity in the form of triple highs and also what do we see in price we see a fair value gap all the way up here inefficiencies in price right so i'm just going to use the same gray box to label that fvg or fair value gap and there it is, right? We also have another fair value gap just over here, but this is a very clear fair value gap, right? This candle here is an inefficiency or a fair value gap in the market. So once we have liquidity above us and we have a fair value gap above us and we're trading from discount, there's a very high likelihood we could be seeing higher prices. 
Because that's essentially how the interbank price delivery algorithm or IPTA operates on a daily basis, seeks liquidity and fills inefficiencies from discount to premium or premium back down to discount if we're looking at a bearish market. So overall, here's my narrative on US oil. And please use these concepts and apply it to every other market. This is something we teach here at Liquid FX. So if you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next one.